Why have those things? And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Mac? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. He spies yeah, on I'm girls. Sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It's very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, angry I hope we see more friend. of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. The blue hair is nice. Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Yeah. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Cares about Kate Marsh? He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Bacon omelet, Belgian, Belgian waffles. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Never drink the stuff. Never liked it. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. I love the delicious dip. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Well, down the hatch. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> looks like you had plenty. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. Technically, I guess theory, I actually you can could. now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Nope. It would just be a boring repeat. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Uh, this is dive. like fourth dimensional nope, data. No, you'll From love here, this. Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. mm, Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. 
I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh, God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <laughs> Wait. You guys are so the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. Okay, here's Let's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pocket. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Um, keys. Your car keys. No, oh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, a bullet, just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, <laughs> psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Except. Wait, wait, no, first. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget Panda anything. Panda key. Panda key. Cigars. Money. Warning ticket. My box. Ow. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pocket. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Shit. <laughs> okay. Uh. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Okay, what I guess think? so. Something else in my pocket? Uh, loose change. Your car keys. No, oh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Good money. Mm -hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Shit. Uh. 82 cents. <laughs> I wish. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in Damn it. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay, she's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. Seven, five, six. So that's a dime. 16 plus 75. Damn, I hate doing math first thing in the morning. 91. Okay. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. But this doesn't prove rewind time. So, this is me telling you... Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Okay, let's start with the money. As if I fail that. Some money. Clearly, I'm rich as fuck. How much do I? Eighty-six cents. Eighty-six cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. You have seven. I'm cigarettes. pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pocket? You have your, your panda keys. keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? 
A parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Shit. 11, 10 a.m.? That is so... Damn it! Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you... Ugh. I'm gonna start writing this down at this rate. That was beyond... I got almost everything right. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Ten. This must be getting tiring to do this again and again and again. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pocket. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. A parking ticket. You know me well. But, what is the exact time I was busted? Ten. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. What the hell that means? That means that twice a day the clock's going to be Your on the right key. time. Duh! Way too easy! I need details! Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? I think the voice acting's getting a bit awkward. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Finally, the I'm cigars. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. And I'm willing to bet Max has a migraine from doing this four freaking times. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. I want to go and get pancakes now. I hate video games that make me want to eat. freaking eat, out about what just happened. People. You, you have to show like me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. That, that is cheating. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay, something. I really hope something. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Perfect. Talk. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Uh, Trevor drops his glass and Justin no, makes fun. Max, you said that you would predict four events. We're nowhere near that. I'm going to predict the trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. Max, you said that you would predict four events. We're nowhere near that. Oh, wait, so I just have to, I, I just have to keep waiting. Who cares if it's four? If I can predict that some guy's about to fuck up, I think that's pretty good. Oops. Dude, Did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Well, I think that should be ample enough. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Uh, I can't... Uh, 
and he eats a donut and his partner leave and he answers the cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. Damn it. Nice. And fail. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where's my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I okay, here we go. I'm going to predict the trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce Maybe breaks we should, it up. They should make the wording Getting a little good. Better. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Even if I can predict like a few events. Oh shit. I'm not sure about the butterfly. Shit, I'm worried now. Oops. Dude, did, did you, you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. So Flat cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. It was a cockroach. Damn. I'm going to predict. Trucker drops. The trucker off. drops. So what? Well, let's just see. This is getting. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. Oh, finally. Finally got it. Yes. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. <laughs> this isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. <laughs> you can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. Uh. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. You didn't finish your waffle. Chloe finally believes me. 
Ow. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and school to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Time traveler. I need to answer. The girl is in Hey much. Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. The girl is facing, is facing cyberbullying on an advanced scale. I mean, she's Sucks just Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. It's not like I won't see her in class later. I'm not going to bother this one. Well, that's it.